Greetings, people. Stacy here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hubble's on me. Okay, get off my... <laughs> get down, precious. Mommy's gonna... <laughs> okay. Wee! All right, today I'd like to talk about a day in a life. How to relax and rest. How to honor your body and listen to it talk to you so you could be all kumbaya. Now, this is going to be a difficult one for me because I am a professional rester. I could do it professionally. So, let me go backwards to go forward. If you are spinning your wheels, running and rushing to get everything done, only to go rush and do more, you're going to burn out. You want to find, like I beasted my house on Sunday. What does that mean? I top to bottom cleaned my house, mopped, vacuumed, dusted Windex, laundry, changed the sheets, beast. Made my three-hour salad, beasted. And now, today, I chill because I'm going to honor my body and just I'm laying outside on the deck. It's February 2nd. It's probably 50 degrees. The sun's out. I'm burning sage. I got my coffee, my water, my cigarettes, the fresh air, my dog. Life is really damn good. I know that my body needs to rest and restore. Our cells in our body are constantly restoring. So today, my intention is to be with me and the sun. I might read a few pages of a book. I don't need to really meditate because I'm in a constant state of meditation. A lot of people go and do yoga to relieve stress and to get present and connect with their body. It's a gorgeous idea. Do that. Do whatever calls your spirit to a state of calm. You can't have the thermostat up all the time. You're going to burn out. It's got to be regulated. You have to go up and down with the tide. Now, right now, Hubble came and jumped on top of me. We snuggled. We laughed. Da, da, da. There could be a moment where it's like, okay, get off me, mother father. <laughs> all right, down. It's all the mood. So being I'm in a peaceful space place, I enjoyed and welcomed that moment. That was fun because I'm relaxed. And when you're stressed out, it's really unfair to everyone around you because your reaction has nothing to do with them. It has to do with the fact that you're burnt out and you're responding in an angry way because you don't know how to validate your need to be peaceful and lay down. The day is busy. We, we all, we're all busy. You want to get out of the habit, though, of spinning those wheels so long. You want to make sure that you know how to let the sun shine on you. Get that vitamin D in your system. Relax. Read a page. Take a walk. Some, you want to sweat. You want to cool off. You want to be in with it all. There is nothing more fulfilling to your spirit and soul than time alone. My greatest connection to source and spirit is through music. I put on some of my favorite music and I am there. I'll read a page from a gorgeous book and it takes me right to where I want to be. I do not spend any time on anything that doesn't bring me peace and joy. I don't. Even in a session, I used to get very emotionally um, uh, empathetic, if you will, to other people's sorrow and very sad stories. I no longer do that because I know it's not true. I know at the moment they're off path, but I'm excited because they're ready to shift into something else. So I'm no longer carrying stuff. So I'm fully present in the right now. And right now is a time to let your body totally go chill mode. Go get a massage. Take a bubble bath. Watch a great movie. Read a book. Listen to music. Sit in silence. Feed the birds. Watch. Just get so relaxed. So when you're um, interacting with people, especially when you're interacting with people that are not awake, they're emotionally sleeping, then your fuse isn't so short that you're going to respond to um, stupidity. That's all. You don't want to respond to that. 
You want to respond in a loving, gentle way and an understanding way because you are fully rested and present. Right now, the sun is just laying on me. And if it was 100 degrees out, I would not be honoring and welcoming this. I would put an umbrella over me. So I know that being it's cool and beautiful out, that this sun is nourishing me and giving me the vitamin D I don't get by sitting in the house in the dark. So I know to nourish my body and my soul. So I burn sage every single day. If you see me, you'll see a cigarette, organic, natural, Native American made, don't judge. And you will always see me burning sage because it totally clears out anything. And I believe I'm also helping the environment by burning sage. That I'm helping the air and my neighbors next door who may not take the time for themselves, who may be in a frenzy all the time. So you want to get to a place where you know how to rest. Yes, we have to get it done. Who runs the world? Girls. Us women, if we're mothers with children and full-time jobs and all that in a home, you have a lot on your plate. You make sure mommy's little helper is called fresh air and alone time. And men, there's single fathers out there doing it. Kudos to you. Going to work at 5.30 in the morning, busting their asses to support their families. God bless you. You go get your R&R &R also. Everyone deserves to be well nourished by life. And then from that space, you create a new day. You're in a state of creation and peace. And from that peace, you're going to be dripping that everywhere you go. And when you're peaceful, things come to you easily. Spiritual people, we're all spiritual, but people that practice spirituality, people are, that are living in that essence are very wonderfully lazy because they let God do the work. I'm not saying that as I lay here on my beautiful teak wood lounge chair that I don't get things done. Oh, I take care of business. But how I take care of business is in my mental. Because what I do is I connect with source and I don't know if I'm daydreaming or creating. I've been doing this my whole life. I couldn't tell you the difference, but I am intending what's to come. I have my girl Abby at the store today working. I'm home today. I intend and I see her having a blessed day where she's honored and respected and our register is happy. And so whatever's empty is going to be full. I'm not stressing about something I can't control. What I can control is my thoughts and what I'm inviting in. And there is no good thoughts going to come to somebody who is burnt out because you can't see clearly. You must take time to sit and pray, listen to music, find the heartbeat with the earth, like connect. I love, I'm not doing it today, it's froze, but I love to stand barefoot in the grass and just breathe. I'm not running around, um, well, I do hug trees, that's nobody's business. <laughs> I'm not running around disconnected from life. I'm getting grounded with earth, with, with the pulse of life. And as the day is going, I'm going with it. I'm not forcing I'm allowing because I'm fully present. So find the way for you to relax yourself and stop spinning wheels. The more work you do, the less you get done because you're not paying proper attention. You want to be fully present now. So right now, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I'm going to read a page of Rumi. Delicious, best book ever, Essential Rumi, translations by Coleman Barks, praise. And I wish you all a blessed, gorgeous day, and we will talk again soon. Go get yours, people. Peace.